this video right here is going to show some simple data cleaning techniques. It's a lot better to have our data clean before the analysis. So we're going to be looking for outliers. I'm going to paste this into Excel. It's just a little sample database. It has 20 um, observations of patients, five patients, and their ID numbers. One of the biggest things um, to find errors are to look at the outliers. If you see right now, um, after pasting it, I created a master. And that's just in case I make a mistake. And so I don't have to um, lose any data integrity. Okay, here's our data set. It's on a worksheet called Work. And this is where we're going to actually manipulate it. Okay, it shows us that the values should be between 0 and 4,000. These are, I'm going to change the variable names. Instead of mead num, I'm going to call it ID. And instead of A through E, I'm going to call it P1 through P5. Patient 1 through patient 5. This gives us a lot more flexibility. When we, if we do macros and SAS or Stata or whatever package we use. Let's just make it a little neat there. Now I'm going to create a key worksheet. This will be a reference point where we can always go back and any changes that we make we can record. Also we can record uh, variable names that we change and also issues that we have to talk to the study leader before doing analysis in case we do find an error. I'm going to create a variable key. And remember, this is just a simple example. Most of the data sets that I've worked with in the past, um, especially with genetics, uh, can have thousands upon thousands of observations in many variables. Make it a little neat. Okay, I'm going to check when we go back to work. We have 20 observations. Okay. I noticed an ID that didn't fit. So, um, this is probably a typo, but we're going to ask the investigator before we go. And PI is the principal investigator, usually the doctor that is the one that is in charge of the study. I'm going to start by targeting the outliers, the minimum and the maximum values, by just using simple Excel functions. This will kind of give us... A A look at what our data if there is anything that falls in between that also things to look for in data sets which I'll show later not in this video are um, recording errors how to determine if instead of number it got listed as text okay values are supposed to be between 0 and 4,000 well it looks like patient 1 patient 2 might have a problem. Right now I'm just creating C1 through C5. This will be a just a graphical check where we can see if, um, if a number is out of this range. I'm using a nested if or statement in Excel basically um, to look at each observation and the formula for that is in the N2 column. I 
I'm going to use X as a flag and leave the others blank so I can see it easy. I'm copying that over. And then I'm going to copy the rest of it to the rest of the data. Okay, we have three anomalies. There's our two values that fall out of the range. I'm highlighting them, so I'm going to put them in the key. And this one here, 358.0.8. Uh, it could be 30, um, 3500. Point eight, or it could be 358.8 but I'm going to make a note in the key so that I can talk to the person in charge before I do the analysis so I don't have to redo it or do um, extra coding in my statistical package so that um, everything's right before I do it Okay, there was, I think anomaly is spelled wrong, it is of course, but we'll change that in a second. Okay, here's the other one. These are the two values out of range, and we'll just ask what to do with them. Should we include them? Is it normal? We're not... We're not the experts in the area, we are just the uh, statisticians.